Hello everyone, Fifi and Sam here for another Midweek Musings. Um, we've just been having quite the discussion, as we always do actually, don't we? We do. Before we jump on here, we have a good old natter and um, we were just kind of contemplating the raving insanity <laughs> that is out there at the moment. It seems to be getting madder by the day. And, um, you know, there's always the sort of potential to drive you mad by the day when we're watching all this stuff. Um, but, yeah, what what are your thoughts on the current kind of climate, if you want to call it that? I mean, raving insanity, raving insanity pretty much just sums it up. It is... Um... It is just mental, isn't it? And it it is it is um it's I think it's very difficult to keep um keep a sense of self amongst it all and 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 stay kind of centered and grounded and and sort of unaffected by it all. Um, and uh, you know, we were we were talking about um, you know that 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 it's it's a battle in 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 kind of two halves and and one is you know the the activism the the raising awareness and being prepared and 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 all that kind of stuff and it being you know obviously very important but that it is only half the battle that the other half of the battle is actually um consciousness and and on a level of frequency and being being able to um protect your own energy um and and stay in that you know kind of place of 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 truth and and um being okay um <laughs> and and in and in a in a much more kind of connected frame of mind but obviously neither of those parts of the battles are easy to kind of maintain you know sometimes we can we can do very well at one or the other for for a little while and then you know the other stuff it all creeps in and and there is this you know we are bombarded we we talk a lot about um the mainstream media and how we are bombarded with with the propaganda and and with the narrative and and what we're supposed to be thinking and feeling and caring about but i think that is equally true within you know the kind of freedom movement is that we are still all you know very much being bombarded by look at this look at this you know this this is what they're doing. This is what's coming, you know. And there is still a lot of fear, um, and and it is. It's it's very difficult to kind of, you know, remain present and remain, um, you know, slightly detached from from this kind of place of shit. What are we going to do? Yeah, exactly. It's um, it's the we're seeing the same the same thing. Any time we're we're being pulled out out of ourselves, if you like, it's your where is your focus being pulled? Where is your attention? So you've got them where it's all very calculated and deliberate um, as to why they're steering you here, there, everywhere, and you, you see this absolute craziness. It's all by design. Um, but then you've also got the unwitting, you know, where we're sharing information and we're, we're doing all of this, the, these things from from a good place. But it's still it's still external. It's still the entire focus on what do you physically do? Um, and that's when. You're, you're going to end up in that same place of feeling helpless of feeling powerless because it's not at what point are you shut off from all of the external noise and getting to that place of what is actually true because you're only ever going to find it in in here there's no truth to be found out there there just isn't and I know it's where the people want want to hear it or not you know it's not it's not popular anytime within all of this you know because it's all very visceral isn't it it's like this this physical battle people talk about the spiritual battle as well but then what 
you can't just talk about it it is a it, this is a crisis in consciousness this is where it's all playing out and they control us using fear that's all they have and when you can't start looking into what is fear actually instead of running away from it ah anything to get away from these emotion negative emotions when you actually stop and look and and go into it well what's it actually coming from things start to expand and chat and you start to realize how much power you've got and that is the last thing they want us knowing so that's why things are going to go I mean we think they're mad now honestly I think they are going to ramp up to levels that you, you just where you will think you are going insane. And it's all by design because any time you're focused on that and, and, and you and your place in all of this, it's, it is going to drive you nuts. And what, yeah, what's I their think, motto? Um, Order out of chaos. Okay. So when do um, they something, something in? you said this morning, I found, you know, quite... Um, quite um important thing to to kind of highlight was was when you said you know about um is there are a lot of us and I'm sure we're guilty of it as much as you know the rest of the world but but there is this focus on you know about oh this is a psyop and this is a psyop and and all these different things and and this is you know and and the, you said the whole world is a psyop our whole reality is a psyop yeah. and, you know spending our energy you know trying to work all this stuff out and 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 kind of make sense of it all and listening to all these people that are telling you exactly which bits are you know tangible psyops mm -hmm. that you can you know validate and, and all that kind of stuff that actually in many ways that is just a waste of energy mm. yeah i mean the, this this entire look we you can't talk about living in a matrix and not see that therefore this entire reality is a fucking psyop all of it is because this is not who we are we are not these little beings these little fragile bodies that are at the mercy of, of external, external conditions of anything we are all powerful and you are not going to find that out by being constantly focused on the fake reality that we've been caged into. You will only find it by going in here, away from all the noise, away from all the information. It doesn't mean that you literally stop and you don't yeah. ever do anything again. Or You are still, we still have our roles. This is still this cosmic game. We still have these, why are we doing these videos, like knowing this stuff? Why would, why would you bother saying a word again? You're just compelled and you let it go. You're just, well, it's beyond me. I don't know. It's obviously part of whatever this is. And, and so, therefore, it, it, but you're coming from a different energy when you're knowing I that. Think it's it's not to say that you know oh oh no don't worry about being informed mm. don't worry about spreading awareness no. that's not it at all obviously there is absolutely a place for that but it is about um conserving your energy and ensuring that you're using it in the right way and it is not becoming this this overwhelming um kind of need for every single piece of information um, and it and it to be the overwhelming drive because you know as we kind of said earlier that's it's only half the battle you know yeah. yes we do we do need to be aware of what's going on we do need to be able to you know um, be informed and and to be able to make preparations emotionally physically all that kind of stuff yes absolutely but it is half the battle the other half you know us and our souls and our our consciousness and um i think it is 
important to kind of highlight that there does really really need to be you know this balance and it's not it's none of this is going to end while we are so caught up in it yeah as as victims yes as yeah. as believing this is when i say it's all a sight because this is not who we are it's not what we are and all of this is orchestrated to keep us from that knowledge because the whole thing crumbles the moment you realize my god I'm absolutely in control of my experience here I can choose something outside of fear I it's all a choice and it's all intention and this not is necessarily an easy choice. Not at all. No, and this, <laughs> this, yeah, exactly. And this is the thing. You're so powerful that you can choose to believe you have no power at all. You choose. And so a lot of people don't want to go there. They would actually unconsciously rather all of this than know what they really are. I, I think that's very true. And I think that there is very much um, the perhaps biggest issue within our society at the moment is that actually there are a huge amount of people that just don't want to know. They don't, it's not even, you know, so much about, they don't want to know the truth about what's going on, but mm. they, they don't want to accept that they do actually have the power. There's this there's this great um, little thing that's been going around about, you know, but what can I do? Mm. I'm just one person, said six billion people. <laughs> yeah, and, exactly. and, you know, I, there is obviously, you know, everything we do in our life, every choice that we make is taking us one of two ways. It's either taking us to a better world or it is tying us and cementing us into the one we got. And that's, very simple choices you know um going back to cash the using the automated checkouts um where we buy products from where we choose to invest our time where we choose to invest our energy where we choose to invest our our kind of material um possessions and, and money and that every single choice is contributing to the world and i think there's a lot of people that that they don't they almost don't want that responsibility because no. it's quite a big responsibility. It's the ultimate, isn't it? it it's when you realise it's all... The thing is, like, yeah, it's all on you, but not this little you. No. That's the thing. It's not this little personality in this body for a certain amount of time. This is the infinite you and that's why we're, we're in this we we just can feel it we, we just can't tolerate this crushing of our our spirit it's our expression we're in this we're everything we're everything and choosing to have this experience as this very limited very you know very small the 3d experience yeah. and, and in many ways it it, it, it you know it, it, if you want an easy life you know it is very much easy to go well I can't do anything about it this is the way life is and you know I, I can't do anything and and to just hand that responsibility over to the people in charge to the pharmaceutical industry to the people producing our food to our governments making decisions about law and and you know how we should live our lives yeah you can hand that power over to somebody else and and yes life's not easy when you do that because obviously they're making it as absolutely crushingly difficult as possible for us to do anything more than exist but if if you actually you know recognize that you have a level of power to to make a difference with every choice that you make then actually you have to put a lot more thought and and a lot more take a lot more responsibility into the way that you're living your life and actually that comes with a whole host of kind of other yeah. um, issues that that cause a lot of internal kind of noise and pain and distress and yeah I do think we are at a point where 
basically the future rests on whether the people decide to take back their power and embrace their ability to make change and live their lives differently and with responsibility or whether people just go no mm. yeah but and the, you know this is what they they count on is people wanting to be rescued people still want it that's why i say order out of chaos they will make the chaos so so intense that people will be begging to be rescued but if you've done the work if you've got inside and realized that you you're beyond you're beyond all that and it's not about safety. It's not about your little, you know, because, I mean, the thing is that like, you're, you're here for only a certain amount of time anyway. Mm. So at what point does it just not become worth the, the, the giving up of everything? Just, when, you know, when you're, you're not going to be here anyway forever. And that's the thing. It's That's why I think... Be very careful of constantly being pulled out there. It's very addictive. It's um, it's constantly keeping us distracted, and that's what they want because they want to sweep in at various points throughout all of this with their answers. And and the thing is, I think a lot of people are aware of that. You know, I. I... There's a, a a lot of um, you know we can we can't sort of um, celebrate the battles that we've won. You know, there's there's so much more to come. The the exposing of certain narratives and the collapsing of the systems that we've got are all very much geared to them. Them coming along again. Look how terrible everything is. Exactly. You know, oh, here's the solution. Exactly. And people are aware of that, but yet there still seems to be this this thing grinded focus on those particular psyops and 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 all of those things that are coming rather than how we go about stepping away from them because it's so much easier than looking at your consciousness this whole thing is just perception our perception has been hijacked. That's what's happened. We've been hoodwinked. We've been conned. But until you actually take the time to, to look at all of that within, so you, you can't trust all of that outside. And that's not to say that individuals are deliberately, but we're, we're caught up in this. We're feeding it. We create it ourselves because we have a completely false perception of what we really are we we create a manifest all of this for them that's how powerful we are they don't have that ability they use us to create all of this so we are i've said it before we're like batteries to them we're feeding them with our energy with our emotion and so Anytime you're getting out of fear, you're moving beyond needing this physical safety, this, you know, that this this constant reassurance and that you can't have in a physical world. And you know, when you're in phys physical bodies that can are prone to aging and, and disease and death and, and so on and so forth. Anytime you start getting beyond that they haven't got control over you and you start having the clear seeing of what this all is yeah. it's one massive mind game nothing is happening outside of our minds we're creating this and it's unconscious that's the thing when you start taking the power back and I tell you at intention is everything and if you do have that so in a sense, we don't have to worry too much about the absolute horror show that's going on out there because there is an overwhelming desire, which is an intention for truth. 
So it will be revealed because if that's the, the focus, if we can each of us internalize that, that the absolute desire is, is for truth, you don't have to go looking for it. It will be revealed because that is your intention. But be very prepared that it might not be truth that sits well with the ego. Because when you really get to truth and you discover, oh, I'm not that little, that little victim there who, who's at the mercy of, of all of this stuff going on and what people say to me and how I blah, blah, oh, that's truth. So I think we're all at kind of different levels, but we are seeing the truth is coming up, but they will constantly try and steer us away from the ultimate truth because it's all very diverting it's all very um yeah it just it, it's very addictive all of this stuff yeah and and i i think on a on a kind of more um personal level i think um you know it, it can be very easy to then swing the other way um and and the energy at the moment I mean especially um for me and what I'm experiencing is very very dense you know I am yeah. finding that my mind is it is literally a battlefield um mm. at the moment um and I'm finding myself you know pulled and drawn in so many different directions and um it, it is I, I, you know quite honestly you know almost like a, a moment by moment battle um mm. to kind of remain you know true to who I am and, yeah. and and try and remain in this this well remain I've I've not been there for a while but <laughs> but try and be in that that balanced yeah. you know kind of grounded place but um you know and obviously there are so many factors um that that can mess with our minds but I think the very first step is to acknowledge that and recognize that mm -hmm. and and to kind of see be able to identify when you're being drawn to places that you don't want to go or when your energy is being drawn and manipulated, even if at, at some point you, you're sitting there and you're like, but I can't do anything about it. I don't know what to do if you're stuck in this energy. If you are at least being able to recognize that that's where you are, that is the first building block and it's it's somewhere that you can then you know, work on and, and build in. But if, if you're not aware of where your energy, where your consciousness, where your mind is at, then that makes you incredibly difficult to manipulate and it, uh, incredibly easy, sorry, mm. to manipulate. And yeah. um, so the very first step is at least becoming aware um, of, of, you know, what you're doing and where your mind's taking you and, and, and just even just sitting with that and recognizing it That's can be it. an incredibly powerful yeah. first step um yeah, so definitely. yeah it is a case of don't beat yourself up if you're no if, if you are one of these people that's you know a focus on it, don't, don't beat yourself up over it we're all only human and we all get drawn down paths that you know we can go oh okay that perhaps wasn't the right way to go but yeah just um recognize it identify it be aware of it and, and sit with allow it, it. And, allow it to be there because that's when you can start seeing things start to sort of break apart then because when you actually do look at something deeply and that's the first hurdle is is getting to that point where you can because all we want to do is turn away from anything that doesn't feel good what we term good but that means, again, you're at the absolute mercy of conditions the whole time. You've got that you're lost. You're not actually conscious. You're not present at all. But if you can just sit with it, allow it to be there and you'll feel the tension like, no, I don't want to. But just keep going. <sighs> Could I allow us to be here? Yes. And you start to feel it just dissipate it's such a simple action we've been just so so who to it I was saying wasn't I before about this it, this big mind game the whole thing's a mind game to keep us convinced that we are these small insignificant powerless victims in this world 
and actually it's just a false perception if you just stepped a little bit sideways and see everything totally different it's like it's over and that's why the madder things get the more likely it is that we're completely hooked on them on all of these things I'm unfolding it's all we talk about it's all we think about it's all we're looking at the crazier and crazier things are and you're trying to work out well hang on so this has come out but they're still saying that and pushing that but then you've got this that, that it, whatever it is you are being pulled out of that place where you are able to rise above all of it and it, it is all frequency this is all running on the dense energy that we, we talk about you can feel it they keep you bogged down in it and that's the only place that it can affect you if you're in joy especially in joy in spite of what you're you're seeing there my god that's the absolute worst possible scenario because you're untouchable and it is not dependent on your outer circumstances I've said before there were there were amazing people that were in Nazi concentration camps living through absolute hell who because of what they were what they were in tune with and connected to they were able to live in gratitude even in those circumstances and to come out of this whole thing they were untouched because they dictated their experience of, you know, what whatever it was seemingly being perpetrated upon them. No, I'm not seeing it like that. I will damn well be in joy and gratitude and love. They've that's it then. They've lost that it's over. It is over. And so when we can raise our frequencies and no, it's not la la la. Let's pretend when you're actually quaking inside. Don't want to look at that. So we'll pretend everything's fine. Totally different thing. Nothing to do with this. This is knowing full well the evil that is there, what its intentions are, and tuning into your power, which we all have, and going, I'm going to feel this instead. I'm choosing that instead. And they'll try everything they can to pull you out, no. And that's it, then you're out. Again, and, and it is it is very much um what I'm gonna say is is driven by you know very much by how I'm feeling, but I, I wanna say it because I think it's um it's important for all of us that that if you do find yourself in a place where you are scared or or um in a in, in just a really negative place where your your mind is is swirling and lost and and you, you are you know in essence feeding um this this negativity and this drama it, it, it is important not to judge and not to yeah. beat yourself up for that because you know as I, just, as I said, we are all only human and, and we are all, you know, highly susceptible to our emotions and, and our mind is so, so powerful that we can get caught up in this inner monologue yeah. um, that, that has the very power to convince us of, of you know, and create a whole new set of perceptions about the world. And so, again, you know, the, it, it is the importance of, of trying to return back to yourself, to look inside and 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 to just notice and recognise where you are and, and, you know, what's what's going on for you so that, you know, you can get back to that place where you can, you know, at least try and make like little tiny baby steps towards, you know, in, improving your experience of life and trying to do a little thing every day that, that makes you feel grateful to be here trying to uh, connecting with a friend who who kind of you know makes you smile or makes you feel good and allowing yourself despite everything that's going on no matter how difficult your circumstances is to to enjoy feeling that love that connection that joy of of your experience and and not kind of sitting there and judging it and thinking but everything's so awful I shouldn't be feeling joy or you know being attached to the inner monologue that's that's kind of very negative and 
I, I think it is it's it's a really 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 difficult path to navigate um mm. and and I think we we just need to hold a little bit of love for ourselves and and um you know try and remember um that we can only do our best and and try and be aware and conscious and acknowledge what's going on and uh, me and Fifi we we <laughs> we sit here and we 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 talk about you know what what we think but um we by no means find any of this easy and we're not immune to uh, all the shit that's going on and and Absolutely you know it, we both find it really hard and I suppose with these videos we just hope to to kind of help everybody that that is kind of feeling like we are that we're all just a bit ah oh, um that maybe we can help point each other in the right directions yeah I mean it's we're all we're all on our paths we're all on our own journeys um I think you know ultimately what keeps me relatively sane (laughs) is knowing that this as real as this feels and as compelling as it all is and how identified we are with with this these personalities that we, we are and this this life this, these characters that it's a tiny little glimmer in infinity that nothing what you really are can never ever be harmed because you are everything that ever has been ever will be ever can be We are from and of and are everything. So no matter how horrendous the suffering can be, how terrible, you know, the terrible things that happen in this physical, um, sort of seemingly physical uh, world, this this reality, it's, it's a dream it's we're, it's it's not real it's not the ultimate oh, reality it is and it, it just either it, it it resonates and you, you you know you can understand it or you don't it doesn't matter but again it, it's that doesn't mean that you just walk around oh wow you know because until you've actually truly realized it fully you are self-realized it's still only talk really and that that goes for me as well I'm not a a realized being but I can still take comfort from there is this this knowing somehow that no matter how bad things get how how bad they are this is not it and it's not it won't be the end and this is just an experience um and I want to follow that, you know, that's why I do do the work to to hopefully actually fully, fully realise that one day. So then I am completely outside of this. Um, but any kind of talk around all of this stuff, it always comes across as very contradictory at times, they're huge paradoxes, because language is not the way to impart this kind of knowing um the perennial wisdom wisdom whatever you want to call it language is static it's kind of dead really it can't possibly transmit what and and we're by no means saying we have the answers um we're not fully realized we 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 really are just like muddling through as best we can just like everybody else but um yeah i don't i don't know the answer to it all um not at all. I don't, I don't think there, there, there is one singular answer right. either, but I, I know we all need to be a little bit kinder to ourselves. Yeah, and that's one in the eye for them as well every time you do that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, that was quite a... <laughs> what would you call that? Like a consciousness viewing <laughs> sort of thing? <laughs> Oh yeah. There yeah. it is. There you go. That's now it. I'm in like musings. <laughs> These are the things that 
go through our minds. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. So, well, have a great rest of the day. And we, well, it'll probably be evening, I think, by the time this goes out. But, um, yeah, rest of the week. Where are we? Wednesday. Wednesday. I know, Wednesday. Okay. Already. I know. Another one down. So, yeah, have a good one. And we'll be back. We'll speak to you soon. Have a good week, everyone. Yeah, take care.